Alright, so challenge week is coming up this week and there's a few questions in how to do the exercises. There's five different exercises and it's a personal challenge so you see how many of each repetition of each exercise you can do in 60 seconds. The very first thing that you're going to do are press-ups. So the press-ups are full press-ups. I know men and women like to do different press-ups, but it's full press-ups because it's a battle against yourself. So knees are off the ground, you're like so, knees are off the ground, it's chin and nose to the ground and back up, chin and nose to the ground back up. So it's not ass in the air, it's not ass down, it's back straight, chin and nose. As many as you can in 60 seconds. Next one are the seated V's. So there's a lot of questions about how to do the seated V's. You basically lie back, legs are out in front, hands can stay on the floor. You're going to sit up all the way, touch, and back down. Sit up all the way, touch, and back down. So making sure that your legs are going straight. You don't want to re be reaching up, touching like so. So you can actually use your hands as well and use the momentum as long as you stretch out. The third one are the burpees. I know a lot of people down here have done burpees before. But basically you put your hands down, legs go out, legs go in. You have to jump in the air and you have to raise your hands. Because a lot of people do it like a little tiny, little tiny jump. They don't raise their hands. They have to raise your hands. All of these exercises are designed to be the hardest way you can possibly do them. So uh, it actually gives you a challenge for 60 seconds. They're all tough. So hands down, legs out, legs in, jump up in the air. Okay, next one, number four, is your kickboxing technique. So you're probably going to do this on a partner or on focus mitts or on a bag. And it works like so. You're going to go roundhouse, jab, cross, roundhouse, jab, cross, roundhouse, jab, cross, roundhouse, jab, cross. So the one roundhouse, jab, cross, roundhouse, jab, cross equals one. All right, so I just did two there at the start. So hopefully I didn't confuse you. One, jab, cross, roundhouse, jab, cross. Well, obviously you have to hit with a little bit of power, so you're, you are going to need your gloves for that. Kicks, as long as the kicks are at least hip height, but make sure you're turning into the kicks. Make sure it's not just. So technique is important, or else the coaches might actually count each repetition. Uh, very last one. What's the very last Mountain one? Mountain climbers. Mountain climbers, right. Mountain climbers is number five. So when you go down, again, I don't want butts in the air. Hit the butts down, and they have to be deep ones. So you're bringing your foot into your hip, 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 hip. Because you see a lot of people like doing little tiny mini ones. I wish it was those, but unfortunately it's not those, right? So you're down like so. Now two is one. That's the way we're going to count it. So when you're when you're like so, this is your starting position. That will be one. That will be two. So it's foot into hip level. So they're they're good and deep ones. That's the five. Do the challenge week. Do all the exercises as many times as you want in the week. We'll be doing them in group classes and private classes. And basically try to beat your score each time. Don't worry too much about what other people get. Obviously there'll be winners and, and people who have scored the most. But it's all about beating your own personal best. Each one of these individual exercises is a, a, an actual personal fitness test that you can perform any time to see if you're getting fitter or not. So most of all, enjoy it. And well done for giving it a go. And sure I'll see you during the week. Thanks.